Hello dear friends, so this is our Knit Crate yarn and it's called Chiaro Scuro. That's the theme and it means light and dark. So we have the brown, the ones that we got are the brown, it's called Rafael, the, the light brown or reddish, very pretty, it's called Contraposto and uh, this pink is uh, Spresatura and this light one is called Impasto. So I want to make a crochet shawl and I am going to be using an H hook which is the same as five millimeters. So let's start with this. Remember how we do our magic ring so around our fingers and then again and we pick up the back so what you do is that you go around your fingers and then cross it and then go under this one and pick up so now you have your ring there and we're going to make three chains one two, three, and that is going to count as the first double crochet and we're going to make six in total on this side so this would be two and three four five and oops I haven't crocheted in a long time but I really feel like doing it now so I have six double crochets here counting the three chains that go up so that's two four six and chain one and then six more so that's one three four five and six and now I can close my ring okay row number two we're going to chain three and then turn. On that next space there on that first chain you're going to do another double crochet so we're going to be adding stitches on the sides and in the middle so here I added one I did my three chains up and then I do my double crochet and then on each of these double crochets I'm going to pick up fr from the front of the stitch so that means like so and then I do one double crochet and pick up hugging that stitch so you go under and out and that would be two and I hug it and that would be three again I hug it and pick up that would be four and I hug it and pick up and that's five now I am I have that space where I did my chain I'm going to make two double crochets that's one and two and chain one and then two more in that same space so that's one and two now remember that this side has to be the same as this side 
So I have my two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and then I have my five double crochets picking up from the front of the stitch. So that's two, the front pole, and that's three. four and five. So remember that we said that we need to make add another stitch on each side so therefore on that third chain that I went up that third chain I'm going to make one double two double crochets one for the adding and one that belongs to that space. Whoops. Sorry. Okay, so now we have, now you can see the triangle, how it's starting to form. And you can see on this side that you have your four stitches in the middle, and you can see that pretty design going on now. Okay, so row number three. I am going to make my three chains up and turn. And on that same space right there, I am going to do my double crochet. Now I am going to be signaling which is the chain that goes up from those three so that there's you can see nicely when I come back which one it is. So this is the top chain of the three chains that I went up on the edge. And now I have my first double crochet there. Now I'm going to chain one and I am going to skip one and double crochet on the next. So that's one, chain one, double crochet on, skip one, and double crochet on the next, chain one, skip one, and double crochet on the next, chain one, skip one, and double crochet on the next. And I also put a, a, a signal in where I have where I need to add my stitches. So I'll take it off for the time being, and I'll put it on in a minute. So into that space, you're going to make your two double crochet. So that's one, two, chain one, and two more. Whoops. Okay. So remember that we said that this these two sides need to be the same. So since I did my last double crochet right next to it, so I'm going to do that right now. So like that I have three double crochets on this side and three double crochet on this side. So chain one and then I skip one and one double crochet. Chain one, skip one and one double crochet. Chain one, skip one and one double crochet. chain one, skip one, and that's the last chain of my three chains up. So I'll go there and make my two double crochet. So that's one and two. 
and now I have right here this is the way it's supposed to look so I'll put my signals again and I'll come back on the next row row number four so now I want to change yarn I want to change the color so I want to continue with this one in order to do that you want to take off that last step the last two you want to have the last two stitches on your hook and instead of closing with that same color you are going to close with the next color therefore you have your full chain with a new color so that's one two and three and now you turn and you make your next stitch your next double crochet on that first stitch that you see so that's my the way I add my stitches so now I have my new yarn and I'm going to go and do a double crochet on each of the stitches so even so that's the uh, the chain I go and make my oops let's go see that my double crochet in there too and double crochet and double crochet on each of the stitches and remember that in the center when you get to the center you have to make your two double crochets chain one and two double crochet okay so this time row number five we chain two and turn and we go and single crochet into that first stitch so single crochet now we're going to go on the back post but we're not going to pick up the whole thing we're going to pick up the back post of only the chain so see that separation between one chain and the other so we're going to pick up that small post from the back between one chain and the other so and single crochet so between one post and the other and single crochet so you go in the back to the front and then again to the back and single crochet so into that same one and out the next and single crochet in that same one out on the next and single crochet into that one out on the next and single crochet so now you're going to have something looking like this like a chain going this way and a chain going that way and continue and I'll see you when I get here so the second part of the fifth row we're in the center right now and what you want to do here is go and hug that last one bring it to and single crochet now always in the center double crochet into that space so we have our two double crochet chain one and two double crochet and then we continue the same way as what we did we go and hug that first one and single crochet hug the next 
both between one chain and the other and single crochet hug and single crochet and I'll see you when I finish this row so row number five we are going to end with two single crochet on the last chain so now we're going to chain two and turn and on that same on the next space right in there we're going to do a half double crochet so that makes it two and then I do a half double crochet also on the next there we go so now we're going to make a they're called concords so what you want to do is yarn over and bring your yarn through yarn over and take two off leave the last one on your hook and so that's one bring your yarn through take off two that would be two yarn over bring your yarn through take off two that would be three yarn over into that same space take off two and now we have let's see because I have a strand there okay so now we have four yarn over bring your yarn through take off two so now we should have six that's two four six strands on my hook yarn over and take all of them off at the same time so immediately after yarn over and half double crochets on the next three so that's one two and three okay let's do the concord again yarn over go into that same one on that same one you're going to make five so that take off two so that's one yarn over take off two that's two yarn over bring it through and take off two that's three yarn over bring it through take off two and that's four yarn over bring it through take off two and that's five that means on that same stage you have one two three four five six strands yarn over and take all of them off and now yarn over and half double crochet on the next three so that's one two and three so let's do that again yarn over take off two that's one and two and three four and five into that same stitch so now I have my six strands two four six yarn over and take all of them off and have double crochet on the next three so that's one whoops yeah two and three so let's do the concord again so that's one 
two, three, four, and five. I have my six strands. Take them off all at once and have double crochet on the next three. So that would be one. two and three. So now we're in the middle again and in the middle remember that we want to do the same thing we're going to where you did the chain one you want to two double crochets whoops chain one and two double crochet so that's one two chain one, one, two. And now you continue with your the same stitch. So yarn over and three half double crochet and a concord. And I'll see you when I finish this row. So after the last bubble, we need to have three half double crochet. So that's one, oops, and then on that top knot, we have two more. So that's two and three. So let me show you how this looks. You have your four concords or bubbles on one side, the center, and the four bubbles on the other side. And this is the way it should look. This is the right side of your work. Okay, next row. I have my three last stitches, which is the last step of the row before. And I want to change yarns, therefore I take those three stitches and pass my yarn through. And like that I can start the next row with my new yarn. So I'm going to chain two. And turn. And I will single crochet on each of the stitches. Remember this, is, this counts as one. And immediately after, I go into the next stitch and single crochet. And remember that in the middle, right there, we do two double crochets, chain one and two double crochet. So I'll see you when I finish this row. Row number eight. This time we're going to chain only one and turn. And go into that same space, that first space there, and single crochet. Now on each of the posts from the row before, you're going to go and hug that front post and single crochet. So go and hug each one of the front posts and single crochet. Each one of the front posts and single crochet. So in the middle, since we're not going up too high, in the middle instead of making two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets, we're going to make two half double crochet chain one and two half double crochet and then continue with hugging the front posts on the other side also. And now I'll see you when I get to the end. I'm in the center now. I am not going to hug that last chain before the middle because it's a little hard on the other side. So once I'm in the middle 
what I want to do is that I want to make two half double crochets so that's one two chain one and one two and now I can continue hugging each one of my front post and I will see you when I get to the end row number nine I am going to chain three and turn now I want to make the same see I have the bubbles there and I have the chain showing on one side and the other and now I want to make this same row but here so that means I'm going to have one row of double crochets throughout I will have two double crochet here and chain one and two double crochet in the center so let's do that so chain three and turn and on this first space I double crochet and on each of the chains and I will see you when I finish this row row number 10 we are going to chain three one two three turn and then make your first double crochet on that first space and now we want to make the same as here so chain one skip one and one double crochet so chain one skip one and one double crochet chain one skip one and one double crochet chain one skip one and one double crochet so in the center we're going to do the same two double crochet chain one two double crochet and then we're going to come back the same way uh, chain one skip one and one double crochet row number 11 now I want to change colors and remember that the last step of the double crochet I will pass my new yarn and now I chain three one two three and turn now on the very next on that first space I want to double crochet so that I can add my stitch on this side and now on each of the chains I want to double crochet so double crochet on each of the chains and in the middle you're going to two double crochet chain one and two double crochet and then do the same on the other side row number 12 chain three turn make a double crochet on that first space and then make one double crochet hugging each of the double crochets in the previous row so front post double crochet on each and in the center you make your two double crochet chain one and two double crochet there we go therefore see this is the right side of your work and you're going to have 
that chain showing see how pretty that looks so I will see you when I finish this row so if you see rows number 11 and 12 are the same as rows number 1 and number 2 so you're going to repeat these 10 rows for as long as you want your shawl to be so I already have rows number 1 and 2, which is the 11 and 12. So what I did here is that I repeated the 10 rows three times. And then with the yarn that I had left, I made a rows of half double crochet. So like that I could have a nice finish at the edge. So there it is and uh, I'll take some pictures of it and thank you very much for watching share us with your friends and like our page please subscribe thank you